Okay, and then the last category is that one of this feeling of worthlessness. So it's like even all the other categories um, often will lead to this one, and this is really where depression starts to really prop, you know, properly set in, is this feeling that you're of no value, no value to yourself or others. And what this really is, is a feeling that because you haven't achieved things, because you haven't had the successes that society says um, means that you're a successful person, you start to measure yourself by that and then you feel that you have become really worth worthless. So some of the things you can see on my right might indicate this feeling of starting to feel worthless. You know. So you know, you might have had a series of disappointments and then feel that in the future there's bound to be more disappointments or that it's no point in looking into the future optimistically because all you see is a, re a repeat of the past patterns of depression. And again, the core of this is judging um, your self-value in, in this regards, you're actually saying your self-value is corresponding to the value you have to others. Whereas what you really need to understand is your intrinsic self-value and that is that we, are, we exist and therefore we are part of this world, we are part of this mesh that we belong in. And once you understand the interrelationship between ourselves and then the outside world or the rest of the world, then you begin to see that the real self-worth cannot be compromised because we are worthy just and as we are because we're part of this society. And you have no idea what people are getting from your existence, you know, what kind of lessons they're drawing from, how you're helping others. And it's all to do with your belief system, your belief system about I'm only um, depressed because, and you focus on all the, the most negative things, you don't, you sort of skim over any of the positive uh, contributions you've had in your world, but we don't know how some of those seemingly small contributions could have affected people in a really positive way that you don't know about. And so understanding that just by existing, merely existing by itself, has its own worthlessness to the world around us, then we start to get an idea of the real positive self-worth. And it's coming back to this view and this uh, knowledge in yourself that you are worthwhile, that you do have something to offer. And at the moment it may not be tangible, but in the future it may be tangible. But irrespective, it doesn't matter. That's where you're going to start to combat this feeling of low self-worth and perhaps then get the motivation to go out and do more and then start to get some of those tangible benefits you know if you would like them and they're nice to have of course but they're not the real self-worth. So that's a brief overview of some of the categories so if you feel like you fit in in any of those categories then you know that you're not alone and that depression can be turned around and has successfully been turned around for a lot of people having those types of thoughts. Now I'm going to create some more uh, practical videos on how to deal specifically with anxiety and using uh, theories of, of timeline which is really helpful. I haven't made them yet but they will be um, being added to this category so watch that as I make them in the coming days. Thanks, this is Peter.